What's up guys, I'm Dan Rowley, Jr. on the BU Men's Crew Team, and welcome to the Wolf Boathouse. Hey guys, welcome to the floor. This is where the crew team does all their big workouts, stretching, body circuits, everything you see is done right here. So here's an erg right here. This is the best machine we have for simulating what we do on the water. Um, during the winter, most of our practice is done right here on the erg, um, trying to get in as many meters as we can, working on our speed and our strength. Placed all around the boathouses are pictures of the 1Vs of each of the last years. It's a real time-honored tradition to get your photo up on the wall as a shrine to all your hard work. Every dual meet race that we have consists of a cup. So when Boston University races the University of Wisconsin, the winner walks home with a cup. Bay here on the men's side you can see we have of all different colors length and weight so bigger guys have bigger boats smaller guys smaller boats we also have four man boats pairs doubles and singles all here under the same roof so our eight man boats are over 60 feet long and 300 pounds so moving them is no easy task So the oars are over 10 feet long, all different in length and circumference. But what's special about the BU oars is the half crimson, half white diagonal stripe. When you see this on the river, you know BU is coming. So this is one of my favorite parts of the boathouse, standing out here, looking out over the river, the view of downtown Boston, and the view of Boston University across the river. It's really special. Yes. The crest that you see in the center of the dock is a tribute to all the great alumni who have donated to this boathouse and to this team and have really helped out the program. It was painted by the guys on the team last year as a real thanks to them. It's been real guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour, but now I gotta get to practice. See you guys later. Welcome to the kitchen, where we always have a well-stocked fridge. You got your necessities, some butter, fruit, and of course, some old eggs. Wait, can we do that again? No. Wow, thanks guys.